Hey everybody, it's Jay, Florida Suburban Dad. Now, I am basically on the weekends here. I'm going to do cooking videos because if you guys have followed me these last few years, you know I have a thing for grills and I have a handful around the patio here. So, basically, to justify nothing because I'm just going to keep buying grills and get more. But knowing you guys are out there and you've seen some of my Instagram and all that stuff, I'm going to do some cooking videos on the weekends. Now, granted, you'll probably see this at the beginning of the week because the wife is going to be nice enough to edit it. But enough of that aside and everything else, basically what you're looking at right here is I'm going to be making armadillo eggs. Uh, wait a minute. That's a chicken egg. Okay. Yes, it went in the pool. I'm making armadillo eggs. Now, what an armadillo egg from what I'm, I'm understanding is think of a jalapeno popper, okay? Stuffed with cream cheese, some nice pepper jack, okay? We're good right there, it's poppers, right? Nope. Now the original armadillo egg is wrapped in sausage. I'm gonna do some in sausage and I'm also going to do something in a thin layer of chicken breast. Wrapped around the jalapeno. Then, you wrap it with bacon. Are we all good here? That it sounds pretty good to me. So what I'm going to do is on the new Traeger, the newer Traeger I got here, I'm going to cook on this today. Now, basically, when we get this all together, it should be awesome. So, guys, come along. We're going to get in here. I'll show you what I'm doing to put the stuff together and we'll hit the next step. So I'll see you in the next one. Hey everybody, well, the first thing you gotta do is prep the jalapenos. Now, what I use is a paring knife, this little corn thing that I just got recently. It takes it out like that. It's been kind of nice. Now the thing is, when you're dealing with fresh jalapenos, okay, they're hot, they're spicy, and I'm wearing bare hands because all the latex gloves have disappeared from the house. So I do suggest latex gloves because the reason is, is if you take your bare hands after playing with them and touch your face, you might notice all the red and stuff, it tends to burn a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these guys all prepped up and after these are all prepped, cleaned out, and ready to go, we'll get on to the next step. So I'll see you guys on that one. Everything laid out here, pretty much. We have our jalapenos and stout, cored out. We have our pepper jack cheese. I kind of cheat. Get the stick cheese. It works just as good. And we have some chicken, our mild pork sausage, and our bacon. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build one out of each one and show you how I'm going to do it here. Now, the nice thing is, is no more wardrobe changes because I haven't Put any more of this all over my face so hopefully we can get through this and get on the next one and i'll tell you one thing this whole making cooking videos julia child made it look easy okay because grant this is my first one basically i think there's a couple out there where i kind of played with it but let's try not to uh jalapeno pepper spray myself again in the future how's that so what we're going to do is i'm going to take one of these and i'm just gonna Stuff that right in there. Look how nice that fits. Okay, now after that, we're going to start with the pork. Now, of course, I got raw pork, I got raw chicken, so in between, don't do after you're done doing this, make sure to wash your hands, do all that fun stuff. So, basically, what you're going to do is you're going to make a thin mold it right around that jalapeno. bacon wrap that right up I mean everything's better with bacon and there 
containers, one in sausage. Okay, so I'm going to set this right over here. There's one in sausage. Now we're going to do one in chicken. Some jalapeno. Stop that right in there. All good. Now the chicken can sit here. Now what I did is took a chicken breast, thin sliced it, hammered it down a little bit, tenderized it up. Now I'm going to wrap it in chicken breast. Then of course bacon. Mm. And there's a chicken. Actually, I know all my cheese is gonna go out all over the place. Wife shaking her head at me, but more bacon's always good. So there's a the chicken. A whole lot of egg. So I'm going to get through the rest of these, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go out to the grill. I'll show you basically what temperature I'm cooking at, what I'm cooking with, and we're going to get them on the grill and get them start cooking. And then I think I'm going to have to show you guys a quick little drink recipe that I'm going to use to sit out to the patio and enjoy waiting for these to cook. So I'll see you guys in the next step. Got all the eggs together. Now, this will be my first time making these things. Little things I've learned. One, the pork is a lot easier to work with than the chicken is. Um, you can mold it and keep it thinner. That very first one I made, way too thick, kind of thinned it down. Average about two pieces of bacon per one. Um, otherwise, they look awesome. Now, what I'm going to cook on today is the Traeger. Now, this is a pellet grill. Um, Basically, it has its own little hopper feed, and I'm using a mixture wood pellet. Um, it has a little bit of pecan, hickory, and mesquite, all, or not mesquite, oak, all mixed together, just for a nice smoky flavor. Now, I'm putting it up to 250 degrees, and they're going to cook for a little over two hours. I'm going to go for two hours and 15 minutes, and then I'm going to look at them. So, let's get these on the grill. I'm kind of new to it. Uh, wanted one for a while to add to the <laughs> all the different grills I have out here. And I've been really happy with it. It's been a very nice grill. Um, cooking has been very nice and even. But again, I have other grills and there's other different styles to cook that's not the same as this. So that's a nice thing. I like to experiment and see the different things they can do. So they are all in there. I'm going to shut that lid. I'm going to get my timer going. Two hours, 20 minutes from now, we're going to be pulling the eggs up. But coming up next, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to put together for the Sunday afternoon and chill out here with a nice, so sweet southern tea my way together so I can sit out here and chill. So I'll show you guys that here in a second. Hey everybody. Well, you guys have seen in a lot of my videos, when I'm sitting out the man cave out here, I like to enjoy a nice drink. Now, I'm more of a tequila and rum person, but a friend of mine turned me on to, what you know, Crown Royal Peach, but the now Jim Bean Peach. And Basically, what I'm going to put together is my version of a southern sweet tea. And of course, i got to have it in a nice big old mason jar. Now, what you're going to do, some ice, 
And today, as you can see with the Crown Royal, I've been using that one just a little bit. But today, I'm gonna try the Jim Beam Peach. We're gonna measure this scientifically. Okay, maybe just, it, it is man cave. You know, you gotta sit out here and you know, enjoy and watch the cooking. Now I'm gonna take some sweet tea. Try not to spill it everywhere. Pull that up. Sweet tea. It's a good time. You gotta try it. So now I'm going to sit here and enjoy this, put this stuff over the side, the hard, hard cooking is done, so it's sit back, relax, enjoy the Florida weather, enjoy the life, and rock it. I'll see you guys in the next part when these guys are about done, and I'm probably on about two of these. Hey everybody. Well, it's been about two hours. I'm the second one. Sweet tea is really good. Let's take a look and see how this stuff is looking. You got about another 20 minutes and then they're coming off. Looks good, doesn't it? Trust me, it smells even better. So, next time around, we'll see, we'll pull these off put them out on the cutting board and see how these armadillo eggs came out. In see two that? hours, 20 minutes, let's see how these armadillo eggs came out. That looks really good. Oh, I'm smelling. It's phenomenal. Let's see how this looks. Oh, look at that. All right. Here. Here I'm going to make a mess. It's hot. Right out of the smoker. Mm. Oh. <laughs> really, really good. So, Florida Spurman Dad's very first time. Armadillo eggs. Spicy, yummy, oh, awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed my first cooking video on the weekend here to bring you guys in. A little rough, especially for my eyes and everything else from earlier, but it was a lot of fun. I'm gonna enjoy this, I know the family is. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, rock life, everything else, keep after it. Later.